Welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to continue talking with the law enforcement. We have Jeff Kincaid and Officer Helmert here. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank well, you thank first time you've been here before? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes, first time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they seem fairly relaxed. It's, a, it's, it's <laughs> quite an operation you got here. A <laughs> yeah. little bit. Yeah. We, we've been doing it a few weeks. We're still, we're still trying He's to figure out newbie. what to do. Yeah, I'm a newbie. <laughs> newbie. But we wanted to bring you in because you got some great news about a, a drug dog that you're getting for the department. Is that right? Is, it, is this the first one? Well, or, or not. Tell us about it. This started a long time ago. Uh, uh, Officer Helmert and a, and a couple other guys went to uh, to an SRO conference and they came back talking about a uh, school resource officer dog. Uh, and we talked about it a while and it kind of kind of went by the wayside. We didn't didn't bring it up much again. But once we started Guy Barry College and Career Academy uh, at Mountain Home Public Schools, Officer Helmert and I are we're in there together, and we got to talking about it. And I said, "This is a great opportunity to try to to uh, to uh, raise some money and and get a school resource officer dog." Mm -hmm. um, and I'll let Eddie tell you a little bit more about what all these. Yeah, uh, like Jeff was saying, we uh, it was five years ago when we <laughs> went to this conference and t and had went to a class that that talked about an SRO canine that is trained just for uh, the schools. Mm -hmm. uh, so we came back and kind of ran it by some people and it kind of, you know, things get to the mm -hmm. back burner. And uh, so got with Jeff when this school started and, and uh, kind of approached the chief who you just had here and talked about it and uh, kind of starting to start raise some money for it. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's, and I bet it's starting not, to they're, become reality. They're, they're not cheap, are they, I bet, with the training and, and all? No. Mm -hmm. uh, the... The train, the dog the alone is, is where all the, the money is involved. Yeah, in the right? dog alone is is three thousand mm -hmm. dollars, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the training, for a seven week program, is is fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to take the burden off the city and 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 the police department, uh, we got the community involved, mm -hmm. and uh, we've had uh, several people that just come by the school, that say, hey, here's all I can give is twenty five, well, fifty bucks, cool. yeah. mm -hmm. and. Yeah. Uh, you know, then I've had some more of your your businesses that's given a little bit more. Mm -hmm. you know, and it, you know, it, it, it's a lot of money with with all, with Officer Helmer's travel, food expenses, and lodging, and everything. Right. We've got to figure it, and it's going to cost roughly seventy five hundred dollars mm -hmm. to get the dog and and uh, Officer Helmer uh, trained and and do all this. So we're doing our best to uh, to to uh, raise the money. Mm -hmm. we, for this dog, and, and, and it's like what you know Eddie said was, we're, we're going to try to keep the ta uh, the money uh, uh, burden off the taxpayers, and we're trying to uh, raise this through private donations and uh, and uh, help set up this program. Now the dog will be used, you said, to sniff out drugs and also gunpowder. Yeah, it's a dual. It's a it's trained in all narcotics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know your popular narcotics, your meth, marijuana, mm -hmm. uh, heroin, cocaine. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's also in gunpowder. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, if there's weapons or, uh, you know, any type of ammo, it'll pick that up as well. Would that would that cover like a, a bomb also? Well, not, you know, there's kind of different types of bombs, yeah, but yeah. if it was using gunpowder for right, that right, bomb, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes the dog uh, specific, what training is specific for a school as opposed to just your typical drug dog that yeah. comes in with a police officer right. once in a while? <coughs> this this is, uh, is going to be a Labrador Retriever. Okay. It's a non-aggressive dog. Uh, you know, if you've ever been around any type of police canine that works right. the street, mm -hmm. they're kind of more an aggressive dog. If something happens to their partner, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to it's going to protect their partner. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't want that at the school. You know, if mm -hmm. kids come up yeah. and and, yeah. and give me a high five, yeah. Yeah. I, don't it, yeah. I, I don't want this dog to to react to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a non-aggressive dog. It's uh, friendly. It's approachable. Uh, so where kids will want to be around it, want to come up and pet it mm -hmm. and. So, one thing I thought was interesting that Jeff said was that you have to have training also. Right. Yeah, I'm not. Mm -hmm. You got to be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a seven week long program. Yeah. And matter of fact, I just got off the phone with the the company that's that's has this dog, and he said, you know, we're we're looking at sometime this summer. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. So that's seven weeks away from my family yeah. and extensive pro because I I've never been a canine handler. 
Yeah. So as a police officer, there's certain things that you got to look for, certain things that you've got to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, is the training with this dog it's exclusively? Yes. So so and you're the are you the will be when it's all finished? Will you be, you be the only one that can right be with this dog? Yeah, mm -hmm. the dog will go home with me. Uh, we'll be in a kennel outside, you know, in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, when I go to work, it goes with me. It's mm -hmm. with me all day. Uh, you know, one thing we talked about uh, also, it, it's going to be, you know, at events. You know, yeah. football games, mm -hmm. basketball games, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the what the city has, red, white, and blue. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be at all those events. It'll be a PR event for you. Right. Sure. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, is the money accounted for, or are, are you looking for more donations? We're, we're, look, we're looking to raise more money. I believe uh, I talked with uh, our secretary before we left the building day. I believe we have right at 20, 2700 uh -huh. so far. Uh, you know, we're, we're looking at moving on and, and still trying to raise money. And this dog's going to be used just like what Officer Herman said. It's not just going to be at, at our school. It'll be used at Mountain Home High School campus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it'll be used at the Mountain Home Junior High campus, Pinks Middle School campus, the uh, Hackler Intermediate School, uh, uh, Nelson Wilkes Heron, the kindergarten. Plus, if officer needs help uh, on, you know, if they make a stop during the, during the day, they, you know, will call Eddie sure. and say, hey, yeah. we, we think we found something, so could yeah. you bring... Yeah. Uh, could you bring Bomber to help us? Uh, and, and I don't. And you're going to name the dog Bomber. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, that's, 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 that's where you get your Bomber. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, we don't want this to, to, to go out there and say we've got a huge drug problem here in, in Mountain Home and Mountain Home Public Schools and this. Mm -hmm. It's not what we're saying, but uh, it's not my granny you say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound sure. of cure. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if this if this dog keeps one child from ever getting on it or, change, or wanting to, to do drugs stuff, it's worth all the money yeah. right mm -hmm. there. And, and it just gives kids another reason mm -hmm. uh, to say no and, and not to bring stuff to school, but it, but it's something else that nobody's really thought about until Eddie and I got to talking about it and talking to some others, uh, other guys that have it. It may be a reason that a young, youngster may want to come to school. Sure. You know, today's my day that I get to feed Bomber, or right. today's my day I get to take Bomber outside and take him for a right. walk. Or, you know, bombers coming to my classroom mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Officer Helmerton and and uh, bomber are going to come and speak, and I get to see him. So that mm -hmm. you know, it it can be used for a lot of things, and, and, and in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. well, but now, are you specific just to Guy Berry, or you go to all the schools? No, we there's three SROs. Three SROs. There's okay. three. There's one that's uh, got an office at the junior high. There's one that's got an office at the high school, and my mm -hmm. office is that guy at the alternative school. Okay. So mm -hmm. three of us cover. All the campuses. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So you do move from school yeah. to school, yeah. right? Okay. Well, I th I would like, if you don't mind, I'll ask the viewers out there if they would be interested in helping support you and maybe uh, get you over the top with your with yeah. your goal to maybe right. call the call that. the station. What's yeah. the phone number down there? It's uh, four two five one two six one. Uh, they can ask for either Eddie or myself, and okay. uh, uh, we have a form set up and it's, it's tax deductible. We got a form that you can sure. take it to your tax person and, and do that and, and uh, what we want to do is as we go we want to keep this going because in six to eight years mm -hmm. bomber will have to retire and we'll yeah. have to bring in another bomber yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, and yeah they make it where it's self-sufficient where the program is self-sufficient where we're taking care of it ourselves yeah. mm -hmm. and they're always upkeep where it's not a burden on it yeah right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. well that's that's a sound like a great program great positive yeah. proactive thing you guys are doing and and uh, if you're interested out there watching the show today, then you need to call down to the uh, Mountain Hill Police uh, Police Department to find out more yeah. about that. Yeah. That's or Guy Barry. Barry. Guy, 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 Barry. 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 Guy, Barry. Guy Barry. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the phone number is on the screen. And we thank you guys so much for being here. It's a great program. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Up next, let's talk with uh, Mike uh, Parkinson and, and Carla Axel about the uh, ordering some fruit trees. Fruit trees, huh? Stay with us.